did Michael Chandler just waste two years of his professional career by waiting on Conor McGregor and by now accepting the Charles Oliver fight in this video? Hello and welcome to Bloodsport MMA. Salam alaikum to everyone. As you probably heard by now, Michael Chandler accepted a new opponent after waiting for Conor McGregor for over two years now by fighting Charles Dubronx Oliveira in a rematch at Madison Square Garden November 16th at UFC 309. This is a big deal because Michael Chandler was literally waiting and waiting and waiting to fight Conor. Don't forget, they had the Ultimate Fighter in 2023. In the beginning of 2023, they were supposed to fight in summer there. Then they were supposed to fight in December there or whatever. And then it got changed to July inter or June International Fight Week. June 29th International Fight Week. And the opponent, Michael Chandler. And the weight, Michael Chandler. 184 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> the fight was literally on. Everyone was like, uh, Connor, uh, Chandler told you he waited for the right reasons, blah, 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 this and that. Fight we came, and the fight got pulled off because Connor broke his toe. And now Chandler finally moved on because. He just didn't seem to have any hope anymore. Dana announced that Conor will not be fighting in this year, which is something I could make a whole other video because that's kind of weird. Conor wants to fight, but they don't give him a fight. It's kind of weird, but anyways, he will not fight this year. And Chandler probably heard that and was like, hey, look. Here's the thing, you guys. I am not gonna wait until 2025. That's a whole not a year. How many years? How many years? I'm not gonna wait three years for a guy. So he decided to fight Charles Oliveira. And I have two opinions on that. There's two sides to the story because one side is he made an announcement on his Instagram and he said, look, just because my next opponent isn't Conor McGregor doesn't mean that I am not the next opponent of Conor McGregor. He says that because Conor has contractual obligations by the, the, the ultimate fighter, the tough contracts and everything, he needs to fight him once he comes back. There's no way for Conor to get back to the UFC, like to have a fight back without that way being through Michael Chandler. That's what Chandler said in his statement. And he also said that if he beats Charles Oliveira in the rematch, that he will then maybe even fight for the title, right? Win or lose, he fights against Conor next, but if he wins, there is a chance that he fights Islam next or whoever is the champion by that time. And I gotta say to the first, no, let's go to the second statement first. Yeah, if he beats Olives, he could be in there for a title shot because who's fighting Islam next? Arman. Who did Arman beat to get a title shot? Charlie Dubronx. You know what I mean? So the, it's not too far-fetched to say if Michael Chandler beats Oliveira in violent or dominant fashion, which if Michael Chandler wins, it's normally in that, that way, he could be next for a title shot because who else is there? That Of course, there are people there that probably deserve it more, but if you beat Charlie, and have that star power of Michael Chandler, because let's not make a fool out of ourselves. Chandler is a star. He might get a next title shot, which is crazy if you think that he lost his last two fights and he barely won any fights in the UFC until now, which is just crazy. But I think that's also partially because he waited for Conor. Because he waited for Conor, that also grew his stardom and everything, and he got even bigger than he was, and that's why he gets that Charles rematch. I don't know if he would have gotten that Charles rematch if he would have, would have never been scheduled to fight Conor, I don't know if he would have get, gotten that fight. Because it, it's a fight up by losing two fights in a row. You know what I mean? It's kind of odd and weird, but that's just a fact. And to the point that Chandler makes of Connor being next, like he's next for Connor anyways, I gotta say, I'm not sure about that. Because Connor McGregor is Connor McGregor. Contracts, they exist. But contracts can be broken and renegotiated. That's just the fact of the business world. Like, if you just stay with the UFC world, look at Chandler against Conor in the first place. Chandler most, most, most definitely had a contract for, I don't know, let's just say four more fights for X, Y, Z amount of money. But because he, he accepted the Conor fight, he probably renegotiated his contract, at least for that one certain fight, to have a different salary for the fight or maybe pay-per-view points, whatever, because 
he most definitely will get paid more to fight Connor than for any other fight. Which means he kind of breached the contract or renegotiated the contract. If you think that Conor McGregor does not have the pull to just get out of a contract or just, yeah, do whatever he wants, you might be a fool because Conor McGregor, if he goes to the UFC and is like, hey, UFC, bring me my oh. coffee. Listen, I don't want to fight Conor at uh, Chandler anymore. I want to fight Gaethje now or Dustin or where they all want to fight him. He can just choose. And if Conor wants a certain individual, he will get that certain individual. I can tell you that the UFC wants Conor to be fighting. Thank you so much, Dana. And if he demands something, they will give it to him. So then, if that happens, and Connor is a guy who would just to get on Chandler's nerves, take another fight, he, he is that kind of guy, he's, he's petty like that, he would do that. And if he wants to do that, he will get it. And then Michael Chandler, especially if he loses to Charles, has waited two years, wasted two years of his fighting life because he's old. I'm old. Father time is there for him at lightweight, at least statistically. You never know, everyone's built different, but you know what I mean? So he most definitely wasted two years of his last prime years of his fighting career by waiting on Connor if Connor comes back and fights another guy. Unless, of course, as I said, if he beats Olives and then gets the title shot, okay, but he still wasted those two years. He could have done that in those two years anyways. You know what I mean? So the chances are definitely there that Chandler will never fight Conor McGregor and just waited two years for nothing. But if he fights Conor, I do believe, or if he ends up fighting Conor, I do believe that this is a great idea to take the Charlie fight because if he, of course, if he gets violently knocked out or something that could affect his chin for the Conor fight, or if he, if he gets injured during training camp or during the fight, like a severe injury that could, I don't know, tear his ACL or something, that could affect him a lot in the Conor fight or even cancel a fight as well. But, but otherwise, if that crazy thing doesn't happen, I think that helps him because ring rust is real. He was two years out of the octagon. I do, that's also, that's an early prediction. I, that's why I do think Charlie will beat Chandler. Because Chandler has been inactive for so long and you will feel that once you step in that cage. But if he steps in the cage against Charlie and then steps into the cage against Connor a few months later, he will have an advantage there because Connor hasn't been in there for ages. And Chandler then was back in there. He's an active fighter again. An active fighter is always favored by me against the inactive fighter, especially if the inactive fighter was inactive for as long as Connor was, especially with an injury like Connor had. So overall, I think Michael Chandler, I completely understand why he did that. Time will tell if it was a smart idea, but overall, as of right now, I do think it's the right idea for Chandler. The uncertainty of Connor is just not worth it at this point of his career. And I do believe this will play out as a good decision for Michael Chandler, even though he wasted two years of his career prime and lost a lot of money in the process. Write your opinion in the comments, you guys. What do you think? Do you think Michael Chandler is a dork for taking that fight? He blew his counter fight. Do you think it's smart? He should have done that earlier. Write it all in the comments, you guys. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel. I would appreciate that, you guys. Check out the Bloodsport merch, bloodshop.net. It's hoodie season. Get your hoodies, get your comfy stuff in the Bloodshop. Bloodshop.net, link in bio. Stay bloody, you guys. And until the next one, bye-bye. Bloodsport out.